Now you talk about the evolution of a pitcher. Michael King actually pitched in the postseason on this field in front of nobody. That was during the pandemic. He threw to Kyle Higashioka then. He's throwing to him now. King 6 3, 2 10 on the mound. Swing and a miss. A big time sweeper there for King for strikeout one. He was a reliever with the Yankees, you remember. 40 relief appearances last year, 30 games started this year. Guys, watch this right here. Look where he's at as a hitter. Man, that is tough right there. This would be more regular rest for King. So he starts in an 0-2. Called strike three. Nasty pitch, another sinker. And he has struck out both Albies and Ozuna. Just an outstanding pitch. Barely shaving down and in, but another two-seam fastball locks him up. Does it get a piece? According to Kazo, yes. The crowd back on its feet, and it'll do that most of this game if it's tight. Swing and a miss, and there is that filthy sinker. King will end up striking out three in the first after allowing a couple of singles. Good start in his first major league postseason start. Well, these two guys know each other well coming over for the Yankees in the Juan Soto deal and that Juan Soto trade does not get done without Michael King in the middle of that deal and starting game one here for the Padres a real feather in the cap. There's that same pitch that got him the first time and Albie strikes out for the second time another sweeper. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. We talked about the sweeper and yes after establishing in in the first couple of pitches to Eduardo's point the backside leaks now on the sweeper. Swing and a miss, and he goes with a slider. Olsen, after a single in the first, he gets punched out here as King's total with strikeouts now climbs to five. In this stage, when you've proven you can do it during the regular season, half dozen strikeouts now. It's just different. It's hard to explain. And after that changeup we referred to a couple of pitches ago, back to back sweepers, the second one works for the strikeout. Number 60. Swing and a miss. Look where that thing ended up. It would have hit a left handed batter in the knee. He's got seven strikeouts through four innings. 2 2. He's gone. Same thing as got him again. That time it was a sinker, but he is now 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. All strike three. Gone is Osino. Ninth strikeout, Marcel Sena had a bit of a hard time with the Nestor Seiya strike zone tonight. I give Higashioka credit on this one. Ozuna's got a legitimate beef. But watch Higashioka set up down there and frame that oh, down boy. to up pitch. That's definitely low, but well done by Higashioka back there. King has endeared himself to the San Diego crowd, and he does more so tonight. He now has 10 strikeouts, a nine-pitch inning, and seemingly getting better and stronger as the game's going on. Love to see the Yankees part with so many. He's got another strikeout, 11 now, here in the seventh. Absolute paint, shredding the inside corner with 95 miles an hour in movement. But the only one from the right side that's been able to make good contact. Not there, and again, would have absolutely kneecapped a left-handed hitter. At what point does it look like a strike? That's a dozen punch-outs. How, how do they swing at a pitch so far outside? It's because where it's coming from. The angle of attack, tunneling off of the other pitches, the two-seamers and the four-seamers. There you go, Mom and Dad. King is easily through seven here against the Braves and gets a standing ovation. Twelve strikeouts. The great Kevin Brown, the only name above him on the ladder of strikeouts in a postseason game in Padre history. But his performance tonight, and he got a lot of hugs, and Mom and Dad with a standing ovation and some recording on a cell phone. Seven innings, five hits. Nothing else. 12 strikeouts. A celebration in the dugout from uh, Joe Musgrove, who runs Camp 44 for this group. Jackson Merrill at center. Difficult transition for King to go from the East Coast with all his buddies. You remember, he was dealt right after his wedding, in which so many of the Yankees were there. And he comes to San Diego. And he and his wife have become very well 
adjusted and accustomed to it and now loves every minute of it. But Michael King's night appears to be over. Fifth pitcher, 10 strikeouts, no runs, no walks in a game in the history of the postseason.